Hello everyone, this is Manish and in this video I am going to discuss about what is the difference between Windows Update for Business and WSS. So in a nutshell, if I have to explain the difference, I could say Windows Update for Business is a cloud-based solution. It's a modern way of deploying the updates where internet is used, while WSS is more like a traditional way, a legacy, the old way of deploying the updates where you where you are downloading the update from the Microsoft to the server and those updates are getting distributed within your organization using your on-premises infrastructure. So let's begin. First, we will be covering difference between the, not difference, first we will be understanding what exactly is Windows Update for Business, then what exactly is WSS, then the third one will be the difference because it will make more sense when you understand the difference, the real meaning between the both. So what is Windows Update for Business? So it's a modern way of deploying the updates. I mean to say that here you are getting the patches directly from the Microsoft and uh, there is no server involved, there is no on-premises infrastructure requirement. So all the devices will be getting the updates from the internet. So those updates can be in form of, I mean to say what updates we can deploy. It, it could be quality updates, feature updates, driver updates and other Microsoft updates. So those kind of updates. So other Microsoft updates means apart from Windows, there are so many other different various Microsoft products. So those updates can also be deployed using the Windows Update for Business Policy. So Windows Update for Business Policy is like a normal update only, which you used to get employed for your home PC. But what exactly it make, makes it different from your home PC kind of experience? Here we have the administrator has more control of when the patches will be offered. So when I'm saying when the patches will be offered means defer the update. So I can defer the update for three days or four days after the release. So after when the defer period has been gone, then the update will be offered. So user will be having an option to install the update. But what ha will happen if user is not installing the update? In that case, the deadline will kick in. So we can define the deadline also that after defer update, uh, after two, three days of defer, there's a deadline. So because if user is not actioning after two days, deadline will kick in. And when the patch is installed, there is still an option that not to reboot the device using the grace period. Using grace period, we can control the restart behavior so that the user will keep on getting the pop-up in terms of toast notification in the taskbar. It requires a very minimal configuration for Windows Update for Business. You can also push the patches. We can expedite the, the updates as well, the out-of-band updates. And finally, the important thing is Windows Update for Business policies doesn't allow you to select the update. It's not like the WSS where you are selecting and approving the update. Here, once Windows Update for Business policy is configured, device will, is going to get all the updates. You, you don't have an option to select the, any one specific call, cumulative update or maybe .NET framework or something. You will be getting all the updates. Let's come to the WSS. WSS stands for Windows Server for Update Services. So when I'm talking about WSS, it's not just WSS. I'm also talking about SCCM when configured as a software update point because in the backend it is utilizing the WSS only. So WSS is nothing but a server role which, inst which is installed on a Windows server. So once you install this role and configure it on a server using standalone or using SCCM, so what happens is the catalog is downloaded from the Microsoft. Once that catalog is downloaded, then we approve the updates based upon users start sending compliance that which update they require, which they don't require. Based upon that, we push the update for a specific time. So we have a granular level of control, which update we wanted to install, which we don't want to install. But this kind of behavior comes with quite kind of, uh, I would say, uh, overhead. You have to maintain a lot of things. You are maintaining the servers and everything but you have a complete control of what you want to deploy or what you don't want to deploy. You are, as you are owning the server, you have to manage it. You are managing, you have to take care, you are responsible for downtime of the server. So everything comes to the administrators who are managing these servers. So devices can be more vulnerable when you are using WSS because when you are installing the updates as per the organization's requirement because a few applications are not supporting for that specific update, then you can understand, for example, .NET framework or maybe other kind of update. You are not deploying it because five applications, six applications, their old legacy applications are not supporting because the vendor did not update uh, their application. So your devices can be vulnerable. So that's the problem with the WSS. Now let's come to the difference. 
Before difference, let's see the diagram. On left hand side, you can see the WSS that in the red color, the Windows Server Update Services contacts the window, Windows Update, downloads the catalog and it stores on the server. Once the approval is done, the clients, the devices are getting updates directly from the WSS server, not through the Windows Update. So update is only downloaded once on WSS server, then those two devices using their internal network to download the updates. To the contrary, on other hand, Windows Update for business policies, devices are directly getting the updates from the Windows Update. So does it mean it is going to uh, use the internet? Of course, internet will be used, but we have certain controls to uh, control this kind of behavior by using the delivery optimization, which is a very good way of using peer-to-peer -peer technology where the updates can be downloaded from the peers. So once it is downloaded on one device, other device can get the update from the peer rather than directly going to the uh, internet. So I will be covering it a separate topic, but there is an option available for delete optimization, which is pretty much comes very hand in hand. Now let's understand the difference between Windows Update for Business and WSS. Windows Update for Business, as I told you, it's a cloud-based solution. Patches are downloading from the Windows Update services. So internet is used. While WSS, on the other hand, it's a completely on-premises solution where patches is only downloaded once and you are approving the update. Windows Update for Business, you don't have option to select any update. It is like a kind of a set and forget uh, configuration. Means once it is done, all updates will be deployed. While at WSS, you have a granular level of control, which update you want to approve, which you want to download and deploy. The, uh, Windows Update for Business is uh, very easy to set up and configure. Again, I would say it's like a set and forget configuration once everything is done. So you don't have to manage, you no need to come, come to configure it again and again. While for WSS, it could be pretty much very tedious work because here you have to, uh, every month you have to do the work. Not only that, you have, you need to have an on-premises infrastructure. You also need a group policy to configure, to, to point the devices to a specific Windows Update Server. So how it can be done using a group policy or it could be done through the SSM as a local policy. So Windows Update for Business can be implemented either through Intune portal or group policy. Windows Update for Business is easy to set up and configure. It's pretty much very easy. It's not so difficult. While in when I'm talking about the WSS, you need to, to have a server role installed WS server will install and you have you are not only doing that you are managing it you have to configure the software build point you start using the WSS so it's a complex kind of uh, setup you have to do okay Windows Update for Business can be implemented through Intune and group policy it can be done through both the ways while WSS if we are talking about it can either be done through group policy or through the SSM configuration when you are using software update point Windows Update for Business is like a set and forget configuration as i told you previously right that there is not much you you are doing in terms of windows Update for business once your configuration is done it's like that you are never going to touch until unless there is some issue but in terms of wss it's a quite tedious task to manage and approve the updates download the updates you have to manage the things on your own if you are managing at the granular level right so windows Update for business yes the bandwidth will be consumed but Delivery optimization is a solution, right, which can help you utilizing the, the bandwidth in a much more efficient way, where you can put the conditions like within the same AD site, get the update from that specific peer. While WSS is solely relying on your on-premises infrastructure, so it is only based on your intranet, and so the internet will not be used in a normal scenario until unless it's a, it's a mobile device, you have a cloud management gateway and other things, right, when it is when I'm talking about the SCCM, and other things right so in simple terms it is not going to use the internet usually for the wss thank you so much for watching the watching the video we'll be signing off thank you